Big news today as the Knowles land a talented wide receiver transfer from LSU. Jalen Brown commits to the Knowles, and Florida State takes home a very, very talented wide receiver prospect. He's actually a kid that they were in on heavy in the last cycle, in the 2023 class. There was a lot of talk about that. We'll talk more about that in just a moment, but let's tell you a little bit about Jalen Brown. He is a 6'1", 178-pound receiver from LSU, went to Gulliver Prep High School in Miami, Florida, part of, again, the 2023 recruiting class. He was a four-star in the 247 composite when he came out of high school, the 68th ranked nationally and uh, 12th ranked, ranked wide receiver. Now in the transfer portal, still a four-star. He's the 46th overall player in the portal. He's the ninth ranked wide receiver. Didn't play a lot in 2023. Uh, got into three games as a true freshman. Uh, no stats recorded, but did get in and see a little bit of action. Um, but it is exciting. Jalen Brown, a very, very talented, talented kid. Threw, threw the ball around a little bit in six games, but obviously mostly caught the ball 111 receptions for over 2,400 yards in his prep career, 25 touchdowns named to all kind of award watch lists, all kind of uh, all American second teams and uh, just really an impressive kid. Also ran track. He was a regional champion in the 100 meter dash. So super, super quick. Also a state qualifier in the 200 meter dash. He had been clocked at two at 20.98 in the 200 meter florida state did a phenomenal job here of keeping the relationship up they liked this kid in 2023 there were a ton of whispers that he might pick the knolls you might get two high four five star type guys florida state kept the relationship up uh they were hearing a lot of smoke around potentially getting him and Hike williams two high four star five star type kids um he ended up at lsu but florida state obviously maintained the re close relationship and the work that they had done to get him was really really impressive kids an absolute burner running track he's really really fast i think he kind of fills in that Pokey Wilson role that we necessarily didn't have last year. He is a burner. He can get down the field very quickly. I really like his speed. I think that Florida State is going to like him a ton. He can fill in in the slot. He can play out wide if needed. Not necessarily going to go up and leap over guys. Six ones got some decent size, but he's not, you know, Keon or, or Johnny Wilson or anything like that. Um, I think he can absolutely fit into this Florida State offense and do it very, very well. You recently lost Goldie Lawrence. Uh, wide receiver prospect in your 2023 class from Jacksonville, Florida, didn't come in and make a massive impact. I mean, he was kind of a lower ranked wide receiver that you took um, last year. Getting to flop one for one there is a massive upgrade. And that's no shot at Goldie. That's no shot at, at uh, Lawrence at all. I really liked Lawrence as a prospect and was hoping that he would develop more and end up staying he obviously ended up transferring out and getting Jalen Brown to replace him is huge. Both guys similar in the fact that they're the same age, but Jalen Brown way more talented, way better of a prospect. Um, I would expect Jalen Brown to get in and, and make some impact this year. I'm not going to predict that he's going to go insane or have, you know, Keon type stats or anything like that. But I do think that he can certainly get in and have a very productive next couple of years for Florida state. Um, you know, it's a commitment. We're excited. We always wear the battles in the quarter zip when we have a commitment, any kind of transfer, any kind of big news like this. So make sure that you're supporting the battles end. This is a really talented prospect. You don't land kids like this that are transferring from LSU without having a really solid NIL program. We will get a lot of viewers on this video. I know that a lot of you are not signed up for the Battle's End because we will get more viewers on the video than are signed up. So we really need to push the membership up over 6,000. It's about 5,200 right now. Help us out by going to thebattlesend.com and signing up to be a member today. It supports our kids. It gives back to our athletes. And it really does let Florida State compete at the highest level when it comes to name, image, and likeness. If you go to the page that we're on right now and search NIL or maybe even go to the – I'll make a playlist today. So go to the playlist that says The Battles End or NIL and make sure that you get more information. If you have questions, you can also uh, comment on the page at any time and happy to answer questions on the battles in how you can support, but sign up today and be a member if you haven't already. It's a new year. 
you haven't got that tax refund in just yet, that's no problem. You could still sign up for the battles and do it a monthly instead of an annual and then pay that thing off when you get your tax refund. That's a great idea there. So shout out the battles in. Hey, shout out Ron Dugans and Mike Norvell. I really don't have to worry about offensive recruiting with this staff. I think they do a really, really good job. Norvell, obviously, from the top, does a great job with recruiting offense. You, you've got to think that Jalen Brown is excited about the prospect of potentially playing with DJ Uwe Ungalale this year and then maybe Luke or Brock in the years to come. But you really have to like what they've done from the offensive side of the ball. You have to like the way that they've built out that wide receiver room specifically. I'll tell you, a couple of years ago, maybe, you know, 2021, 2020 in there, we kind of were thought of and, and thought that Florida State probably had the worst wide receiver class in the country. Um, I'm sorry, in the ACC country would be a little strong, but it wasn't good. You know, one of the worst in the Power Five for sure. Um, and what they've done to turn that around is is really remarkable. You think about some of the guys that are going to be in that room this year, Hakeem Williams, Destin Hill, um, now Jalen Brown and, and others. It really is impressive. And I don't think they're done in the transfer portal. I certainly could see them bringing in more. They love in various Jacobs. There's a lot of talent that they brought in with Elijah Moore, B.J. Gibson, um, and, and other freshmen this year. So I'm excited to see exactly where they can go uh, as a room this year. You're obviously going to have to replace Johnny Wilson, Keon Coleman. I don't necessarily think Jalen Brown is your replacement for those guys, uh, but I do think that you have a really, really strong room, a really solid room. Excited to see who kind of emerges as a leader there. I think Ja'Kai Douglas has a big chance. The guy sticks around forever and has made plays year after year after year. You think back to the Notre Dame game to open up the 21 year, the Miami game later that year, and, and the guy just continues to make plays. I really like what they've done with that wide receiver room. A couple of years ago, we really struggled to see if Ron Dugans would continue on this staff. In fact, Mike Norvell only offered him a one-year contract extension, which is kind of unheard of. Most of these coaches get rolling to your contract extensions. I know there's some controversy around that right now at Florida State with who they've extended. Spoiler alert, everyone. But Ron Dugans was able to take that and turn it around. And he has absolutely revitalized his career and is doing a phenomenal job both in the portal and at the high school recruiting level. You would hope that some other coaches are able to do the same and kind of revitalize their career as well. Again, it's an exciting video. It's a happy video. I don't want to spend a ton of time being negative, but I do think that if you are one of these people that says, hey, we need to let these coaches figure it out. We need to let these coaches uh, work their way out of these recruiting struggles, um, then I, I think, you know, Coach Dugans is kind of your model for getting back. Now, I think that coaching decisions should be should have been made a little bit differently uh, here in the very recent past. They weren't. I'm riding with Mike Norvell. I, I'm certainly not out on him by any means. But you've got to hope that other coaches who are struggling to recruit right now, both at the high school and transfer portal level, can kind of follow the same path that Ron Dugans did. And he was able to revitalize his career. He was able to really get his mojo back, if that's maybe the best way to say it, fill the gas back up in the donk, whatever you want to say there. You have to kind of hope that other coaches can do the same. Jalen Brown commits to the Knowles. And again, I'm never going to worry about wide receiver recruiting. I'm never going to worry about DB recruiting at Florida State again with the way that this staff is going. But I'm really, really excited about picking up Jalen Brown, who I think will make an impact this year. I think he could be an absolute superstar next year, his junior year. Uh, but we'll see kind of what the cards hold, what what he's what he does. But focus on this year. I think he makes an impact. I think this is big for the Knowles. I like his speed. I like his skill set. Um, I like that he was in an SEC program for a year, um, kind of learning and being trained and and through that strength and conditioning program. Uh, I like that that SEC program wasn't UFs uh, because their strength and conditioning stinks. And so I'm glad that it was LSUs instead. And uh, I'm excited to see him get in there under Coach Storms, under Coach Dugans, learn from Mike Norvell in this offense and catch passes and touchdowns, hopefully from DJ Uyunglele this year. I appreciate you guys for tuning in. I thank you guys for your support. If you want to support more, you can go to patreon.com backslash DFNS. We let our Discord members know in the exclusive chats in the Patreon's Discord about this commitment. We knew it was coming, and we let them know a couple of days ago. If you want access to inside info like that, you can go to Discord. You can go to patreon.com backslash DFNS to get access. Hey, thank you guys so much. Go Knowles. We'll talk to you soon. And thank you for tuning in.